you know? I am. I yeah. had a, I had one of them um, golfers CBD gummy thingies. <laughs> yeah, you did. I don't know why. I was there a bit you stressed. <laughs> well, you can't be stressed enough. Just we're about to do a cocktail. Well, not anymore. No. no. <laughs> We've had a bit, bit of a bad storm now. <laughs> okay, so just have to check the name of what we're doing now. Hello everybody, welcome world watchers. Let's turn the camera around so I can see where we're going. Hello. Right, this is quite a quick video today, yeah? Yeah. Probably, unless we digress. So, this this cocktail, I didn't know. Did you know it? I didn't know it. I saw it and thought, yeah, I bet that's jolly nice. And, and you it drank jolly it. Was nice. And you drank it. I did. Um, so, um, quick story. We were in Plymouth the other day. Recently. Um, we went in an overnight stay in Plymouth to we go did. to the theatre. We did. To see Miriam Margulies. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I just called her Margolis when I was a kid. Margulies. Yeah. Miriam Margulies um, doing one of those kind of interview type. She's got a new book out and it's yeah. sort of a bit about her life and stuff. It was very, very good. good. Yeah. Um, but we stayed right bang smack in the middle of Plymouth, near the Theatre Royal, near the Plymouth Pavilions where she was doing her show. Yep. And uh, we thought we'd have a pre theatre dinner. Dinner. Yep. So we went to Wildwood. Yeah. Wildwood is, um, well we didn't know at the time, but Wildwood is, has a chain, quite yeah. a lot of these places all over the country, so you may well know Wildwood. Wildwood. It's a kind of um, Italian-y Yeah, yeah, pasta, pizza, but it also did some burgers grills and, and stuff. Burgers and stuff and grills, so yeah. It was jolly good. It was very good, very good, very good value, excellent staff and service. Yeah. And a really nice drinking. It was. So it this, was a Wildwood special, wasn't the it? A Wildwood special, is it called, yeah. Yeah. So, um, Kelly liked it, liked it so much, you bought the bottle. Well, I did, well. You bought a bottle. We were, we've been talking about buying um, Lemoncello for a yeah. long time, because I think it would be something that I would really like anyway. But as it happened, this cocktail was based around Lemoncello. And you tried and it? And gin. And gin, yeah. And it was well, really good. She loves a gin. Yeah. So. Um, so it's very simple. It is. We actually got, well, I say we, I paid the bill. You went up to the bar and you asked the woman down the bar how to make it. Well, I asked what the measurements were. Yeah. So we're going to make a Wildwood special, okay? It's a um, gin, lemon, cello, sugar syrup. Lemon juice. Lemon juice, lemonade, really. Topped up with lemonade. So show us what to do, my love. So to start off with, we are going to do 50, well, it's equal parts gin and lemon cello. Yep half of that with sugar syrup and lemon juice and then when it's in the glass yep. topped up with lemonade okay okay so because we're going to make two we have to we've had to come and come up with sizes we're going to do work. i reckon for one i reckon 50 50 25 25 yeah, that's what i think yeah because it would be like a double shot so on the on the ingredients list below obviously we'll put the ingredients in below um i will mention 50 50 25 25 but that would be for one yeah. not for two a lot of um, cocktails give you recipes in parts, so it'll be one, one, half, half. Yeah, so. But we're going to double up. So yeah, so we, we're going to have, I'm going to have one. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to have one last so time. So should we do it sit. all in one go, or should no, we do it should all sit, it'll be fine, there's plenty in there. And I, I had a tiny little sip of this cocktail, didn't I? That was it. Never well, saw it again. Well, actually, she, she had two because it was happy hour. It I didn't buy one, get one free. It was, be, it was before the theatre, so it was ideal. Yeah. They were quite expensive. I think they were something like eight pound fifty. Yeah, most are in restaurants, but we can get one free. I get one free. So it was all right. It was a bargain. So fifty of gin. We're using our Japanese blossom gin mainly because we're running out of other ones, and you really like that, do you? Jill? It's Thank really you. smooth. But um, I think they may have used. Well, they probably used any gin they had in the place. It wasn't a specific gin. No, it wasn't. Oh, actually, I think it was actually. Yeah, there was oh. a specific gin. It was Bombay Sapphire. Oh, Bombay, Bombay Sapphire. Sapphire. Sorry, yes. Which yes, actually, I don't generally like. No, that's true. Sorry, so it was a specific gin. They would use Bombay Sapphire, but we don't like Bombay Sapphire as an actual bottle. We did buy some once, and you weren't yeah. that keen on I'm the botanicals. I'm not keen on the botanicals in it. Except in this. Well, I think the limoncello and stuff. Yeah, I think counteracts quite a lot. Uh, I'm not going to buy a whole bottle of Bombay Sapphire for one cocktail. Don't need no. to. So whatever gin of your choice, but if you want it authentic, you would use Bombay Sapphire for this. I don't know why I turned it over and used half measures when I could have just put <laughs> one measure of the other in, but never mind. Yeah, there you go. Sometimes the workings of my head on this one. And 50 mils of yeah, lemon there's, juice. Yeah, there's plenty of lemon juice in there. So I've squeezed them out. 
Perfect, just yeah. enough. Oh, I knew what I was doing. Like I knew what I was doing for once in my life. Okay, so we're gonna, we've had some ice in the shop cocktail shaker. I'm pretty sure this is a shaken cocktail. We weren't told that bit. Well, it's not like, it wasn't frothy or anything no, like no. that. So I just think it's just to mix it and chill it down. It is. Do you know, she's learning. You put ice in the cocktail shaker, you may need to mix it and chill it down. In, in Hessen, so you don't have to put it into a glass and melt all your ice really quickly. That chilled enough? Um, get so. a strainer. She's not that well, not that well trained yet, but she's getting there. Um, oh, if you've got sure. lemon juice and things in it, strain it. We don't really want any bits of stuff in it. That's what it looked like. That's what it looked like, yes it was. So far so good. i just balance it out a bit here. Or is that being when yours and... No, I can feel what's in the shape here. That's fine. I think we got the measurements right That's as well, well, John, because... I think we did. It, it was served in this style glass, which to me is a kind of big whiskey glass type thing. So you're not topping up with very much. No, but it wasn't topped up with very much because no. it wasn't fizzy. It wasn't fizzy, no, it was just more of a clean as proper. Um, slice of lemon in each. And then just lengthen it out, as she said, with a little bit of lemonade. Yep. Slight stir. We'll take a photograph and we'll come back and tell you what it tastes like. Okay. Perfect. Yep. Like a little stir around. Okay, darling. A slight swizzle. Just a little swizzle. Cheers, everybody. Bottoms up. Cheers. Cross, center, all those. Cheers, Wildwood. Thanks very much. Oh, yes. Yeah. It is very sweet. It's really good, though. But it's very good. It's, it hits you with the sugar first. I think there's quite a lot of sugar syrup in that. That was exactly what it was like. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, and then it's you like get, lemon sherbet. Yeah, it's like, I was just about to say, it's like lemon sherbet. You get that kind of edge. So you get the sweetness, then you get an edge, and mm. the edge, and then the lemon kicks in. Yeah, if you like lemon sherbet, so you like things sweet and almost fizzy in your mouth, Perfect. that's the one. That's yeah? really good. Good, isn't it? I think that could be my favourite cocktail to date. I make her a cocktail a week on this channel. She loves loads of them, and now she's telling me this is her favourite. I wonder why. Today. Is it because you invented it yourself? No, I you mean, up to now, my favourite cocktail of all time. Strawberry daiquiri. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. But with all the different cocktails I've tried, I've actually got quite particular to a pina colada, we which done, we haven't done no, yet. No, I've not done your pina colada yet. But we have got the stuff to do a pina colada. We've got, because we you're going to do a frozen one for me, aren't you? I'm going to do a frozen one, but I also need to get some certain coconut stuff stuff which so, i'm ordering which okay. we will do Make it authentic so that was that's been another one that i've another quite sweet enjoyed one, as you know but and the daiquiri another sweet this, you're very much a sweet yeah cocktail i like gin i know i don't like i don't mind vodka but the rum ones are a bit i don't know she didn't, someone, mind, she didn't mind a long island iced tea as well but no. it did make you fall asleep a lot yeah it did <laughs> but i think up to now this is probably my favorite nice it's, this is overtaken a daiquiri for me yeah it it's, really it's simple to make it's refreshing it's really good give it a try so if you've got any um oh. recipes you'd like us to try be it cocktails or food recipes dessert recipes whatever let us know in the comments or or just write to us especially if you're traveling around or whatever and you can yeah, find that really good that, let yeah. us know if you find restaurants and stuff in the southwest you might feel that we ought to go and have a look at and give a review we might try and do that as well mm -hmm. But for now, we're gonna go. Please subscribe, please hit the notification bell, thumbs up, lots of comments, tell your friends. Bring your friends on this on board and let's, uh, let's grow this channel. Have a go. Have, Have a go. go. You won't regret it. Oh, absolutely you. you won't. It's, it's lovely, really lovely. Cheers Bye, everyone. Buddy. Have a good weekend.